I'm making my way to the tiger statue outside of the train station for a walking tour of the city. This is the town hall now. We're actually inside the building. This is Town Square in Old Town Oslo. It uh, suffered a great fire like London did, so that's why there's no wooden buildings left anymore mostly been replaced by Central European bricked houses and the sort. Town Hall there when it was rebuilt in the 1600s after the fire. And over here on my left is the old executioner's office. I'm back at the Opera House and this time I'm going to go across and see if I can get up there on the roof myself see what kind of views are possible from right up there well I'm a little bit closer now and as you can see it's got a design that makes it appear to come up from the sea gradual slope up and the same design used for that slope is used in the building itself so it appears to come up from the sea and rise high above it there's the iceberg sculpture made out of glass and metal. Well, it looks like the cruise liner is off to another land. The space over there was previously a harbour, but it's been replaced by, so I'm told, very expensive real estate. Lots of apartments with pretty good views of the harbour area and the waterways that surround the Opera House, which is what I'm on, and various other parts of Oslo. So I'm now pretty much reaching the summit of the Opera House and we do indeed get some great views over Oslo. Well, the tour has just ended. It was an hour and a half, so it wasn't the longest one I've ever done. Uh, it's ended here at the Parliament building of Oslo. Well, I'm just starting to climb the hill into Akashash Fortress so I can go and view the castle. And I've come across a statue to Franklin D. Roosevelt. A noseless Franklin D. Roosevelt, as it turns out, but a statue to him nonetheless and I'm towards the top now where all the cannons were previously kept or still are as it turns out guarding from the enemies all around this is looking inland the sun has come out now as well so it being quite cool it's uh, starting to warm up a little bit there's the town hall you can see the big ski ramp on the edge of town or on the edge of the city I should say and then as we look around a little bit further, we come to the docks and the piers and the bay. You can hear the bells actually, I think that's the bells of the town hall. And then look out towards the sea in a southerly direction. Okay, I'm at Norway's Resistance Museum and I'm going to head inside, hopefully learn a thing or two about Norwegian resistance during World War II.
these are the liberation celebrations looking up towards the royal palace. This is one of the final photographs of the Akashush fortress which is where I am today being taken back by Norwegian civilians I believe at the end of World War II. inside Akishash Castle. Well there's my hotel just behind that building there and this is the Spiker Supper which is a garden and fountain located just outside the Royal Theatre So this is the National Theatre Well, it's lucky I bought my new rain jacket because I'm not far into the trip and already we've got quite a bit of rain coming down. Just as I had located the Royal Palace, there it is. Well, the rain's still coming down. If I flip around really quickly here, see that I'm just standing at the statue in front of the Royal Palace. Well, I've just completed a tour of the Royal Palace. Unfortunately, they uh, don't allow any video cameras, didn't get any film or photos of the experience, but it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's a lot more grand inside than it looks on the outside, actually. It doesn't it's not a Buckingham Palace on the outside, but it probably isn't a Buckingham Palace on the inside, but it is quite, uh, quite grand and definitely worth an hour's tour. Well, I'm now taking a walk around the Royal Gardens where there's plenty of ponds, ducks, wildlife and quaint little bridges. Well, I've made it to Frogner Park. A little bit closer now and I'm in the middle of the Rose Garden. Well, here's the view, looking back towards central Oslo and there's a nice church there. There's the fountain here in the foreground on the left side. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that is a collection of human bodies. Well, I'm now at the back of the final monument which again is another depiction of entwined bodies and I'm looking back all the way down to that church we were looking at a little bit earlier. Well, I've just had dinner and uh, unfortunately it's still raining so I'm going to take a quick walk down to the sea which isn't too far to be to be honest there we go I think you can just about see it down there <laughs> 